thought, did you ever feel you guys had a grip on this game, the way it started? And the, No, the I never thought we had much control of the game. I thought, um, I thought they just played better, to be honest. You know, I thought our guys came to play. But we, we missed a lot of shots. We didn't move the ball very well tonight. That's been, I would say, in the three losses, that's been the theme. You know, obviously, uh, defensively, we could have done a lot better. Uh, I thought we got beat off the dribble a lot at the guard spot. But I, if I had one frustration um, offensively in the three games we've lost, it's been the same theme. We've kind of got stuck. The ball stays on one side of the floor. It's not moving. Uh, we're not playing downhill. So you can always tell if you don't see our guards at the basket a lot, that probably means we're not, we're not moving the ball and we don't have great spacing. So that was disappointing. Um, you know, we hung in there. We didn't have it. You could see it. We looked just looked like we didn't have it, but we still kind of hung in there, and I thought we had a chance to win. They made some big shots, but I also think when you allow a team to feel good, they're going to make big shots, especially if you keep giving them a lead. Josh, how do you feel now after eight games? Do you feel that your offense is catching up to where you visualize them being at right now? Uh, at times I do. I think we're inconsistent. You know, uh, We just got to keep working on it. Like I like our team. Um, I, I don't like that we get out of our uh, – the way we play too much in the, in the eight games, you know, we keep going in and out of how we should play and how we shouldn't play, you know, and so uh, that's what we got to keep working on. Doc, you guys made a season low four threes on 26 attempts. Did yeah. you feel like too many of those were settles or were you okay with them? Uh, I was okay with a lot of them, you know, uh, we missed a lot of wide open threes, but we also took some bad ones as well. So, uh, you know, listen, I don't mind the threes, especially if they're coming off of dribble penetration or post ups. Uh, but I thought we had, you know, several where we could have put the ball back on the floor and drove it back in the paint. And I thought tonight, you know, it's a, it's a sign sometimes when you're tired, fatigued, or whatever, uh, you settle for for the easy shot. Um, you know, and that's always the three. Uh, the better shot sometimes is attacking the closeouts, getting back in the paint, and then kicking out for another three. That is, is a better rhythm three. So uh, I didn't like the rhythm of our offense at all. They had a, a lot of different players score a lot of points. Yeah. How, how hard is that to, to, to defend when they have so many guys? Well, it, you know, it's like I said before the game. I literally said it. I said, listen, they're a team that every single guy is in attack mode. Uh, that's what makes them good. They also share the ball, and they space the floor. Uh, and every single guy on the floor defensively, you have to be ready to guard. Um, you know, it, it just watching it was frustrating because there were times where three or four of our guys were guarding the ball, and the one guy that wasn't is the, was where the ball was found, and that guy beat you off the dribble. I mean, it just happened over and over and over again. And listen, sometimes a guy beats you off the dribble, there should be another guy there defensively to help. And I didn't think tonight we had that second guy there much at all. Did it get to a point where you guys relied on Blake too much, or was he just trying to woo you guys to a win? You know, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't think we should rely on anyone too much. I think we should just move the ball and play. Uh, the ball will find the, the, the better players always. Uh, but if you, if you swing it to the one guy, whoever it is, uh, I think it's easier for the other team to guard and, and uh, you know, turnovers are created. So, um, it could have been some of that, you know, especially down the stretch. We've got to get get away from, you know, just looking for one guy and just playing and keeping the floor space. And, and that guy has to want others to do it too. And so, you know, I think we'll get that right. I'm not that concerned by that, but we definitely have to move the ball more. Doc, can you talk about preparation for game tomorrow against the Heat? Well, it's, it's a short around. preparation, but, you know, we'll be ready. Uh, we get the extra hour, you know. <laughs> So, so I guess that's good. And yeah, well, listen, we, it, it's tougher because it's a tough one. Like, you know, you always are kind of stuck in a coaching spot tomorrow. Like the, if we play tomorrow night, you would come in and watch film of this game and try to correct the mistakes from this game and then go on. And like tomorrow when you show up, you got to, it's, it's about Miami. Uh, and you're always stuck. Should we go backwards a little bit and look at this game and learn from it? Or should we just watch Miami? And I, don't, I can tell you right now, I'm 50-50. I'll know tomorrow. You know, I'll know after I watch the film again. Sometimes you have to teach, even though you're playing another team, you have to watch today's game tomorrow, uh, right before the game. You know, uh, but we'll do what we need to do.